Hey guys, this is Artie. I'm going to show you how you can uh, group the object and then make it one single object out of many pieces. And that way you can make it easier to move, animate, or export as an OBJ file. Anyways, uh, let's get the object. In this case, a little bit of Windows, Contact Browser, and I'm going to grab my microphone. And let's come here. Okay, so now you see that it got a lot of and pieces there so but when you try to export as OBJ it's not going to work so it has to be one single object just to do that go to top layer hit right click go down where it says select children everything now is selected you go back there and then do right click again go to the bottom where it says connect object once you hit connect it's going to create another layer which is your actually new object. So once we come here, now you still have those uh, other pieces left. But when you go to first, the layer just created, and then click on it and try to move around. That's it. You get your own one single object, and you got your object. So, but the rest of these files you can just delete it if you don't need it anymore. Uh, I'll just delete mine. Then you come here, you bring it up from. But the good thing of this, you get all your textures that you've been selected, selected for you, everything in the right places where it's supposed to be, so you're not missing anything. It's just a great way of exporting things uh, to After Effects or Maya or any other 3D software from Cinema 4D. Okay, once you get this done, you come here, it says File, you go down. Where it says export, you go down, you choose whatever you're exporting for. Is it a FPX or RBJ? Whatever you choose for. In this case, I'll choose RBJ. And then you find the place where you want to export it. You give it a name, let's say test. And then you hit save. And another window is going to pop up is asking the scale. Uh, it's, limited, it's better to have one. Because whatever you take it, you always can modify and change the scale and limit in the inches. And then hit OK. Now, let me go to uh, the desktop, wherever you save the file. Here we go. We got our OBJ test file right there. And then this you can in import to After Effects or Cinema or Maya or anywhere it goes. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you find this very useful and then you can use for the future reference. Alright, bye.